Hello, this is from Two Shelf. In this video, we are going to create uh, an Atom simulation in Maya, export an Atom sketch, import in Udini, and then create uh, this scene using uh, a ripple solver that interacts with our uh, agents. So let's start in Maya. Uh, let's create an agent group. We're going to create a really simple simulation here. Just a couple of agents working. So let's change the grid size and the states. Okay. So let's cache out our agents. Right, this one. Okay, let's port. Okay, now let's switch to Udini. Uh, let's create a new scene. Udini, we use the Atoms proxy. The Atom proxy now is just another uh, load and display the cache, so there is no simulation. So let's dig inside and let's bring our cache now you can see the bunny box and let's switch to ski mode uh, now the, the atoms proxy node just displaying the agents in the viewport but it's not generating any any data inside the node if you see here there is 0, 0.0 priority if you want a proper Udini mesh you need to uh, turn on the generate mesh option here so now the Atoms proxy is generating directly the mesh from the cache. You can also, for example, go in uh, Maya and export an Alembic cache and then bring the Alembic cache here. It's the, it's the same workflow. Okay, so now let's prepare the main grid for the report solver. Create a grid. Change the sides like that let's move a little bit down something like that is fine increase the subdivision okay here we just need the interaction with the leg so I can filter the leg This way, the Atoms node will generate the mesh faster. Okay. Now let's prepare the grid. Let's put a normal. And now a null object. This one will be our initial mesh for the people solver. Okay, now let's prepare agents create a trace node sorry a trail node to compute the velocity okay and now transfer the velocity into the grid okay and now let's transfer the velocity let's check if everything is fine perfect now we are going to displace a little bit the mesh using uh, the velocity attribute so let's create an attribute wrangler node Okay, and now let's displace the y-axis using the velocity y-axis and just multiply for 0, 1, that will be our uh, wave, wave height. Okay, and now just put a null here. 
this one will be our rest mesh okay so now let's create a dot network <coughs> create a real repo object on the repo server Let's take the initial to the rest. Turn on the use the forming rest. Now let's change a couple of attributes. Conservation, uh, waste speeds, something like this. Now let's put normal. Okay. Uh, to 180 file with some color okay now press play okay the, the scene is too large so let's scale down the simulation and then after the network will scale the simulation up so let's put a transfer node here uh, let's put uh, zero one should be fine. Let's copy this parameter. It's past plus. Let's scale down also here. Okay. Plus radio reference. Plus radio reference. And now let's scale up the simulation. Connect. Okay. There will be one zero. Okay. One zero plus. Okay, so the, let's play. Yeah, much better. Let's increase the wave fades like that. Okay, let's bring a larger thing together. Let's copy the Atoms proxy because in this way we are going to use the full display without the color. So here should be fine. Okay, so press play. And increase a little bit. Mm. Fine. Okay. Cool. That's it. Thank you for watching, and see you on the next video.